guys, welcome back. Let me tell you a little bit about what I was just doing. This is one of the uh, warm-up exercises that I like to use when I'm getting ready for a training session. Uh, you'll notice that I'm on my knees and this is done purposefully. I'm doing this to isolate my hips and limit their contribution to the overall mobility of the exercise. This does two things for me. A, it forces my hips to be straight and for people with uh, shortened hip flexors, uh, you know, tight hips, the forcing this alignment helps you recognize it better and helps improve that situation. Simultaneously, by limiting the contribution of the hips and ankles to the overall mobility of the exercise, you're forcing the shoulders to go through a greater range of motion. Now, I'm using the term forcing, but we're really not forcing, we're just creating an environment where it's, it favors those movements. Let me show you how I set up for this because the, the little nuances are what makes the difference. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm at a distance where I can only hit it with the tip of my stick, the last inch or so. So as I'm hitting with the last inch or so, I will immediately recognize if I start to sit back. Okay, people with tight hip flexors will start to sit back immediately as they start to get fatigued. Okay, so as you start to do this, you'll know if you start missing that you're sitting back. Okay. Secondly, it's important that we understand we're getting on our knees to prevent the, the other contributions from our other body parts. So that our shoulder now has to come around through a great range of motion. This is very healthy for the shoulder to maintain that that mobility in the shoulder, that flexibility through that range of motion, which is very important to having healthy shoulders. Okay, again, the hips are straight. We're touching with the last inch or so. Our feedback cue is if we start to miss, we want to include this as part of an overall warm up. This is not to be done by itself. We would be including hip mobility and ankle mobility exercises we'd be breaking a sweat, and at that point we'll know we're ready for a good workout. Guys, if you like what we're doing here, please feel free to share it with your friends, hit like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care. Thank you very much for watching.